What up, my fellow Monarch Monstars? It is your boy Trey of the Bat Channel. We are live, ready to do our Monarch Legacy of Monsters Episode 3 Watch Party on Apple TV. You know, you already know how excited we are for this. This is going to be a damn good show. If it's anything like the first two episodes, it's fire. This episode's titled Secrets and Lies. Just giving us more of that mystery going on. I did read a little bit of the description of this episode three. It looks like our boy Lee Shaw, Kurt Russell, is going to be taking our main trinity of characters to Alaska to find their father, potentially, or find out what happened to him. I don't think we're going to find them just yet, but the, I think they'll continue on this mystery. But because they're going to be in Alaska, I'm going to guess we're going to see one of the coolest kaijus that we've seen in the Monarch Legacy and Monsters trailer, which is why I put it on our, our thumbnail for the watch. Right? I'm just guessing because it looks like a snow creature. I could be completely wrong, but we'll find out. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see nonetheless. But guys, I am so excited to be doing this. Because, I one, I know they said it was going to be released a little earlier because of Thanksgiving. They said it was going to be Wednesday, but it looks like they always do it earlier on, you know, the day before because it's like midnight Eastern and then it trickles down. So I don't know how this works, but it's out now. So we're giving you guys time to pull up your Apple TV, get episode three ready to go. So do that. Go ahead and do that right now. Obviously, we can't show the episode on our show because apple tv would not appreciate that so this is just us like experiencing it reacting together enjoying as godzilla fans as if we were sitting in a movie theater because this has been pretty cinematic for this series but let's not waste any more time guys let me bring in the best co-host i could ever ask for super bro cory how you doing big fella hey buddy how we doing today i'm excited man me too, man. I uh, tell you what, I uh, been on a kaiju frenzy lately. I uh, uh, watched uh, Godzilla. Um, I watched the 2014 one. 2014 one. Yep. Nice. Um, I got Kong Skull Island. Um, yeah, man. I I'm on a kaiju uh, frenzy right now. So let's uh, continue it once again. I, I agree, dude. Man, before we bring in our next guest, who you've seen before. Uh, let us go through all the shenanigans, you know, the, the YouTube logistics mm. to help out with our replay crew, especially. We need you guys so, 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 so much. And a great way to get in touch with us, to get to know us on a personal level, follow us on our social media pages like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, threads, if you're on there, at the underscore bat channel. You can DM us, tell us what's going on in your life, maybe, or we do sometimes questionnaires on Instagram through our little stories, so... We did like a whole monster verse. Some people had some fun with it. Bat Dan's been trolling on it. A good friend of ours. I should have never told him that I don't like snakes. He's been just sending me pictures everywhere of snakes and legless lizards because he doesn't know the difference. But, you know. <laughs> it, it's That's just, a lie. Trey loves snakes. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah guys just follow us on one of our social media pages maybe tell us some of the things that you're like hey dude have you seen this news like you gotta talk about this or react to this do something sometimes we'll take it into account another great way to help out our channel grow smashing that like sharing this video subscribing if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode because guys we want to get to 10,000 subs our goal by the end of the year is 3,000 we're close we can do it I know we can. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be there at the nick of time, but hey, it's almost Christmas. Help us out by making our Christmas all so special with a little little three thousand subs. That'd be awesome. But we need you guys to help us get there. We can only spread the word through the battalion. So do it. You guys know. You already know. And of course, if you haven't checked out our other watch parties, we did our discussion of episode one and two this last weekend with our Monarch Monsters and this Friday. We're going to be doing episode three, Secrets and Lies discussion in the evening. So make sure you guys set your reminders. Are you, you going to be that. there for that? I will be there for this one. Yay. The rest of the week, uh, I leave Saturday like at 3 a.m. in the morning to drive all the way to Arizona for a wedding all week. And so Corey, Corey's going to be leading the charge. This is going to be the Super Bro channel for a whole week. I don't know. That, that's a lot of, that's big shoes, Corey. I'm just kidding. But hey, might have to phone a friend. 
Phone a friend. And you know what? I think we should phone a friend right now. You know, our boy, the man, the myth, the legend. He was with us last show. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Kojay is in the house. How's it going, big fella? Hey, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad I got here on time. I was getting my laundry. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I had my phone here in the channel as it started. Someone's like, hey, what you hearing? The bad channel. It's on YouTube. Free to subscribe. <laughs> and I was like, can you say that plug? I was like, all right. It's wheels in motion. You know it. You know, it's just, uh, we're just glad to have you here, man. I know it's, hey, it's been busy, but you, you still found the time even after, you know, doing some laundry, doing the adult stuff. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was going to be later. <laughs> <laughs> I know they keep like, it's never the same. Like last week with the first hmm. two episodes, they released it at 10 p.m. Eastern on the on thursday so that was confusing but now it was like released i looked at like se- you know <laughs> 7 30 our time which i think is 9 30 eastern it, it was out already so i was like I, I i don't know what apple tv is doing anymore so but hey, I, i'm doing this i'm like is this regular <laughs> <laughs> but uh we're excited guys to see Corey. who's all in the chat hanging out got, with us today we got a lot of people here today again kaji crazy craig rollins here today Brogu. Rogu. Team Donkey Kong. Ooh. You know who it is. Oracle's Clock Tower. Yes. What's up, Oracle's Oracle? Clock Tower. What's up, Oracle? Red Hooded Outlaw. Backfoot Nettie. Red Hooded. I see. Beyond the Night. The Batman Who Laughed. Joker's Wild. Batwoman. Carrie Kelly's in the house. Nine Lives in Hell here. Mistress of Mayhem. Your boy Trevor H is in the house. Wayne Enterprises. Hashtag we start the Snatter Bridge yet. We have <laughs> Samson R. Shaw in the house. Uh, that, that looks like a, like maybe a newer one. So. A new viewer. What's up, my man? How's it going, Shaw? Samson are are you doing Shaw as the last name for, for the character? For the for Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell's character? Hey, hey. What's up? And uh, Hunter Icky, what's up? What's Hunter? up, Hunter? It's been a while, man. Hope you've been doing well. Uh, Bat Channel, have you checked out the casting for the Superman Legacy yet? Uh, are you talking about, is it Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor? And I can't recall who they got for Jimmy Olsen. I've seen them before. Um, same thing I would I would say about, you know, when we talked about David Cornsweet and uh, the woman who's going to be playing Lois Lane, I wish them the best. Uh I hope they realize the, you know, the weight of the character and kind of drown out the noise of, you know, the haters because it's it's a it's a tough situation. Superhero characters, their castings are always rough. You know, people have their opinions, and of course, the the DCEU was done dirty. I'd still love to see Henry Cavill back because that's my Superman. Ben Affleck is my Batman, um, but. It, I wish them all the best. I hope they get a great script. I, you know, I, I can't judge them until I see the movie. Um, I have some opinions about it already, but uh, Nicholas Holt, he could be a good Lex Luthor. He kind of reminds me of Jesse Eisenberg a bit. That was not, I was kind of laughed about the decision they made because to me, I was like, are we really doing anything different here? Cause David Cornswick kind of looks like Henry Cavill this Nicholas <laughs> kind of looks like a modern take of a billionaire CEO kind of Elon Musk and uh, what's the, what's the guy, other guy, the Facebook guy. Uh, who is the Facebook guy? Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, kind of oh. that thing going on. Um, you know, I don't know. I, it could be good. Who knows? Can't judge it until you see it, you know? Then we can, you know, Looking debate like who's the best. Looking like a wish cast of Snyder characters, basically, is what you're saying, to me. Uh, it, I mean, I don't know. I, if you turn it off a wish or team mood or whatever the, the the joke goes, the fifth selection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if we couldn't get these guys, let's go ahead and get them. They're the knockoff brand. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't seen. I, I've seen Nicholas Holt in uh, some things, but the rest of the cast, I really haven't seen. Got these Them. new shoes. They're called a deed ass. <laughs> Jesus, well, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like Superman's been here before. Because if we look at um, the movie starring Brandon Routh, that was a new Superman, but they were doing a lot of Christopher Reeve. 
So this is like a new Superman. It looks like there's already a lot of visual what we got last time. Yeah. So maybe it's a pattern. I don't know. Maybe. Like you said, if for, for all of our DCU fans who are are ain't about supporting the new DCU, I completely understand. I feel for you guys. I'm, I'm in a lot of ways with you on it. I'm also a content creator. So as we'll do, like we joked about Corey and I doing a segment called you know, we'll watch it so you don't have to. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, what I am excited want? for. Oh, yeah. What's I tell that? You what I am excited for. Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Mm, papa, how did you know? Mm, Just like Katara I'm, Law, Legacy of Law, and we have Light Cat uh, here who's saying I'm a huge fan of Godzilla. What's up, Light Cat? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I, I completely agree, Corey. And, as much as we are a DC Welcome. channel and Godzilla, Star Wars, we talk a lot about a lot of entertainment. Mm-hmm. Nothing has nothing that DC has right now has me more hyped than what the legendary monster verse has going on. The mm-hmm. Godzilla verse with Godzilla minus one coming out. I am like so on this Godzilla hype train. Literally, Sarah, my wife, my wonder wife, told me <laughs> last night. I need to slow down on the Godzilla content. Not in terms of like YouTube, <laughs> don't, but don't, don't in terms of like watching she's Godzilla. Wrong. <laughs> she's wrong. Sarah's wrong. I agree. Yeah. She's just like, you're you're gonna like get me like you're, you're like you're doing too much. You're like you're like you get done with YouTube of got about Godzilla, you then play the Godzilla Save the Earth video game, uh, you know, for a little bit, and then you'll read the Godzilla comics, and then like you'll <laughs> watch a couple of videos on YouTube about what's going on in the monsterverse, and it's just like, yeah, I, I'm on a Godzilla hype train right now, and I can't freaking wait. Like you Trey and I have been talking about picking up uh, that Gigabash uh, game as well, too. Like I, we we still need down before it with the code J, but yes. we're also talking about the uh, Gigabash as well with the uh, downloadable Godzilla content, it's a little kaiju action. I gotta play that just for that. I'm with you there. You know, you already know. It should be um, like that Godzilla movie. Let him Godzilla. Let him Godzilla. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> oh my gosh. But guys, hey, it's so... Gigabash is awesome. Gigabash. Oh, uh, Donkey Kong said that? Yeah. We'll have to check that out. See, when I watched the trailer, especially the, the Godzilla um, update they added to it, it reminds me of Godzilla Save the Earth, which was one of my favorite mm. games growing up. Mm. Um, so I, I'm super excited to try it. I, I'm fortunately short on cash right now when it comes to buying video games. And my wife even kind of said, like, nope, you have to wait next paycheck. And I was like, all right. Hey, what Sarah doesn't know doesn't hurt her. I say bye. She, she, Corey, do you know how marriage works? <laughs> <laughs> the, the oh, women yeah, are in touch. No, they a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. Like, could this be a deal? No, never with a wonder wife. You, you uh, should have put you should have put in the prenup, you know, like or, or the, the 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 you know marriage agreement. Like, hey, I, oh my I god, did it twenty four. Sarah was hearing this, she would whoop that ass. Yeah, she would whoop me. I, I'm talking brave right now because she's not nowhere to be found. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> um, right but, here, I'm a single man going, huh, it would be nice to have someone remind me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be having so much stuff and wondering why I'm so broke so fast. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be broker. Who knows? It depends on mm. the women. You know? <laughs> mm. uh, but guys, hopefully Let's you have continue. your Apple TV up. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments if you guys are ready because we'll get started soon here. Uh, just, just say good to go anything like that so we can get ready guys do you have any predictions about what we're going to see in episode three Mm. yeah i predict we're going to see another flashback that doesn't continue on the last uh thing they left off with that dragon thing because if they're consistent with not letting know what happened after that one because i still want to know what happened with the bugs you know the big beetles Mm -hmm. yeah yeah The, the the i think they called them the endo swarm is kind of their official name oh. at the moment. Uh, it looks like can, uh, like voided out bed bugs. Bed bugs are gross. Yo. I can one hundred percent guarantee you that the show is going to end on the cl- uh, cliffhanger again. I, I, I yeah, hundred percent guarantee that as well. Yeah, but I do <laughs> want to see Godzilla or a bigger reveal of more monsters. Mm. You know. Is we got little monsters and a flashback, then we got a big monster reveal that almost got him. It's like I want this to continue uh, escalating. Mm. Yeah, I like it. That's that that works for me. Mm. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it'd be good to see more guns. Like, because I don't know if we really saw him in the last episode. We, I think we saw bits and pieces. And Did we see his from, tail. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I mean, he's gonna be. Like, come on. His presence is definitely never lost in this show, which I do appreciate mm. because you know, I mean. How do you get people to kind of come back to this? I, I think there's a lot of Godzilla fans who are just kind of here to see when Godzilla shows up, and that's fine. I, I'm here for the story in a universe that I love because Godzilla is in it, you know? So hopefully it's a, just a great continuation of the MonsterVerse, and I, I just want it to do well. Uh, yeah, Light Chat yeah. says, this is when I became a fan of Godzilla when I was heading out to the movie theaters to watch The Quiet Place. I saw a picture of a monster that say... Godzilla, then I was thinking that looks like a good movie. Oh, Quiet Place? Mm. That was a great film. I'm just trying to think what Godzilla film came out around Quiet Place. That was around 2014, right? I thought Quiet Place was later. I thought it was like 20... Quiet Place was later. Yeah, I want to say it was like 2018, 2019, wasn't it? Would that be Kong then? It may have been Godzilla versus Kong maybe yeah. that, that, that hey that's cool so light cat have you been um or maybe you just saw a poster like like i know my movie yeah, theater has like tons of old posters in it like old movie posters like uh, gone with the wind and you know yeah. all the um, historical you know like just you know movie classic posters are still hanging up on the wall at, at my movie theater yeah i mean which that's cool i dig when the, the theaters kind of make it classic like that like they um, even do like the classic reruns uh, every now and then. Like they'll play like the old movies and such like that. Like typically in the summer, like I, they've had like ET in there and everything like that. It's they do a lot of cool stuff like that. The throwbacks. That's mm. cool. I dig that. Uh, Corey, what's what's the chat saying? Chat saying they are good to go, big fella. Good to go. They're ready. Like They're Hans, ready. He's go. on episode two. We are jumping into episode three. Dad also wants to know which franchise you're going to invest uh, your kids. Time in DC, Star Wars, and Godzilla. If you don't say Godzilla, I'm going mean, to come down there and punch you right them. now. Yeah, I mean, definitely Godzilla. All the above. Well, with my little with my little one, it's whichever one bit first. And it was Supergirl. And it's Paw Patrol. <laughs> and it's Paw Patrol and Elsa. And Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> so she's all about Spider-Man. Pete. Oh, oh my gosh. That's hilarious. What's up, Beans? To, uh, Sumar 2006, will Kong be in the show? Um, I I think so. We we saw a, a clip from Kong Skull Island. I think the Twitter account for this show, Monarch Sciences, uh, they had said that there was something going on at skull Island that we're not aware of yet mm. which tells me that they and kdm monsters if you guys have don't know who kdm monsters is on twitter i don't know how he has the sources that he does or how he's connected with you know godzilla and the monster verse but he he tends to be pretty accurate in his sources and and what he says on twitter and he told people that there was a possibility that it would be explained how Kong was um, made captive in that dome in mm. Godzilla versus Kong. Mm. So, uh, because that was kind of a plot hole for people. Like, how do you make a hundred foot gorilla not know he's in a dome, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for the longest time? Uh, so, I, I don't know. I hope it'd be cool. Uh, being so maybe we'll see but guys hopefully you're ready to go mm -hmm. here I, I like i don't even want to wait any longer Me i just too. want to watch a show and go nuts hurry up Trey. we're on episode three secrets and lies and we're going to start it right at zero zero i don't know if there's a commercial we'll we'll our team will talk it out and we'll the, the beginning is always a bit rough for us when wait what's up. your what's your time stamp zero, oh, zero. 29 or is it 45 minutes and 53 seconds long. Mine's 45, like, uh, you're 45, 54? Uh-huh. Mine says 46, 29. So you're gonna have <laughs> that means ad. we have different ads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm skipping right. through a little bit. You press play it? You didn't say? No, I, I'm just skipping through uh, the ad real quick so I can be... Okay. So hey, I have good. mine currently set right where it says previously on Monarch. Well, Trey, I have yeah. mine on that too now. Do you have yours on that, Corey? No. 
So it's literally the Monarch logo, Monarch Legacy of Monsters previously on Monarch. Do you have that, Core? No. Can you do that? <laughs> I'm getting there because I asked, Mister. If we're starting, and you're like, if hey, no, no. here we go. <laughs> okay, previously on Monarch. Previously on Monarch. Okay, hopefully everyone has that ready. Previously <laughs> on Monarch Legacy Does of Monsters. Like yep, uh, that's what it looks like right there. All yep. fuzzy, all fuzzy, my bad. No, that's perfect. It's All right, here we go. Coming down in three, two, one, play. Play. What's up, Nightwing? Good to see you, buddy. What's up, Nightwing? It's been a while, bud. I will be scaring some people in a giant Godzilla suit and my classic war. 2015. Okay, so now we're in our current time. Oh no, it's still recapping. Nice, Spoon Samara uh, to that. This. this is the episode three watch party. So we are currently starting it up right now. Oracle's clock towers there. Tim doesn't creep me out at all. <laughs> Trevor H says the first two episodes were awesome, and I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, quite, hasn't quite jumped on to it yet. Yeah, I need uh, need to send him a Apple TV uh, three month subscription. Me too, King Donkey Kong. That was so funny, dude. We got sixty seconds to figure it out now. Right? Yeah. Like it, we're doing it uh, every week. We're doing a watch party and then we do a uh, review. So uh, definitely catch up with us and we'd love to have you in the chat with us. And and watch the replay, you know, of the, our previous watch party. If you're on episode two, join us on the, you'll be there if you want to comment through that. And and we'll like, we'll act as if you're there with us live. We'll comment on each comment that you do. Like, oh, that's a cool scene. I love that, you know. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. I replay crew a lot. I don't like missing an episode of my favorite shows. Right? Yes. Kurt looking like a badass. <laughs> There's a lot of good bonding in this, like family wise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like at the uh, Ranga Kong. Or, or I've heard people call him the Emperor Kong. That's a that's interesting. I have theories about that one. I agree, Batwoman. There we go. <laughs> that's a bummer, Nightwing. He's lucky you didn't hit those rocks.
Hell yeah. They are serious about the lockdown. Escape from the confinement with Kurt Russell. <laughs> That's, is that smart or great? Oh, wow. What a great transition there. That I love that. Really cool. Good. Right into his son. Wow. Right, Joker's World? Batman laughs. I agree, the butler. Damn. Snake, listen. 1954. Dude, wow. this might be Operation Lucky Dragon that we're about to see. Whoa. Whoa. Operation Lucky Dragon. <laughs> I had some tacos before we started. We have jelly beans. Jelly beans? <laughs> jelly beans. Um, Operation Lucky Dragon, Nine Lives, is the events that they mentioned in Godzilla 2014, where the nuclear testing in the Philippines, <laughs> they tried to um, try to kill Godzilla, and some believe they mm. did it, and obviously they didn't. Fight them over in Japan, not in America. Cool. <laughs> I'm talking the end of calls. He is talking about Hollow Earth. He was the one that came up with that um, theory, I believe, in Brooks from Kong Skull Island. That's how they met up. Ha, <laughs> 
Hell yes, there is. What an intro. I liked that. The, their banter, the, especially with that. Um, wow. With the older casting of the, the older timeline. Their banter is awesome. Mm. And he's like, what, their grandfather? Is that what we got from that? We, you're talking about Lee Shaw or Bill Randa? Yeah. So technically, yes. Bill Randa is their grandfather, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, okay. I think I think Lee Shaw. There's something yeah, going like on there. Like a son situation or something. Mm -hmm. I see. I think he even tried to hint at it in the beginning of this episode when he was just like he was practically a son. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. that's right. I was trying to remember. Low key, I'm not really a Kong guy. I like Godzilla, so I hope Kong gets his own season. <laughs> I want this all Godzilla, you know. Beautiful. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, he ain't dead. Mm. Wow. There's a lot of good symmetry in this show with a lot of these shots. Mm -hmm. There's a good alignment going on. Man. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, how rude. She just gets up and leaves. Oh, they're on a boat. Nice. Same here, of course, clock hour. 
would love to go to Alaska. It's I heard the saying goes, you uh, aren't supposed to go there as a young man because, you know. This is it. Yeah, this is forever. Operation Lucky Dragon. No place would ever be better. Oh, Nice. Lucky Dragon. I was in there Alaska two months ago. It's great. Jealous. Jealous. You got to go. Mm hmm One month ago. America. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We got a new comic shop. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Blue and rank. Here it goes. Is. Awesome. Just awesome. I completely agree. Matt didn't have a comment for you, Trey. Matt, then we literally talked about this earlier, too. Mm. <laughs> oh my god she's given some of that information to somebody a third party or somebody Mm. That's why she ditched the phone, bro. That would answer why she's so on the mission. Like she already yeah. scanned the files and everything ahead of time. Who did she give it she's to? She's got a goal. Maybe she's giving it to a third party, and it's Hiroshi who's trying to get back to his files. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Huh. I don't, know, I don't if know if she would keep it a secret from him, though. Do you? She probably doesn't know it's Hiroshi. Oh, it's oh. Ah, dude, that's insane. He's a step ahead of him. Maybe that's how yes. he's monitoring his family. Mm. Because if she. If Monarch knows that somebody accessed his files, I bet he would know somebody accessed his files. Hmm. I'd trust Kurt Russell if I was you. Yeah, he's been fair and he gave it back. Oh. 
Or, you know, whatever. It, 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 yeah, dude. Iris has it, bro. It's hmm. not going to matter that they just dumped it. Because what if she has the information locked and they can't have access to it? <laughs> English mother, do you speak it? <laughs> Someone uh, has a history in Korea. <laughs> and they're in North Korea. Now this south. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> you guys, they got the flag on their shoulder. Okay, they're southern South Korea. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> also, they, they look more like uh yeah. like Russian style in their yeah. army. Oh, yeah, a little faith. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the tight jet. Yeah, I was going to say, is Batman? Or not. That, huh? Oh, she's the boss. And shall we trust? I love that. And shall we trust? See, I told you. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yes. Y'all got friends. Trey was right. Hashtag Trey was right. Nope. Not Trey taking right. that one. You're saying theory confirmed, Trey. Right? To me, the, the 
But it happened after they arrived in South Korea, though, right? I think so. But I, I think the more the, the thought behind when we were talking about our discussion from episode one and two, I said that Tim and this particular group in uh, Monarch isn't their motivation. They're working behind the scenes. It's not Sarah Zawa's, you know, um, policies being pushed through here that these guys have their own agenda mm. oh here it goes oh yes this is gonna be awesome um what, what was the movie called uh oppenheimer um, yeah suck on this oppenheimer <laughs> They're going to have the bomb be right at the end, though, I feel like. I'm like, come on. Oh. Mm. <laughs> e. Oh, man. <laughs> I got chills, bro. It's multiplying. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we got, got so excited. <laughs> oh my god, these folks of chills all over. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Oh my god. Oh, he looks pissed off. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Oh, he's going to stop her. He's faster than her. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Are they gonna go back or are they gonna see we're gonna see what happened? Oh the water hasn't fallen down yet, I don't think. No. Oh. Oh my god. Let her cry. Let the tears fall down that like rain. Here we go. I like the music here, though. Oh, me too. Oh, 
Oh. Interesting. So I know they technically have like uncanon the Godzilla Awakening comics a little bit, but in the comic. Did he swim away? People think he went back to his lair mm. um, to regenerate, basically, but they did believe he was dead. They thought they killed him. Mm. So, okay, so they did, did think he was dead there? Yeah. The the Basically, the military thought he was dead, but Sarazawa and Lee Shaw didn't believe he was dead. Mm. Wow. Oracle's podcast said our, uh, our faces were priceless <laughs> during that. Yeah, I thought he was gonna, you know, be still standing like ah, but hmm. Jerry I was kind of hoping. Was cinema. Epic. <laughs> our, our face was priceless. Oracle says. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. Yeti sightings. Well, Squatch. You think there'd be like a big white uh Kong, like like a snow gorilla or something? It or would like be Yeti cool if they did size? have like a, a Sasquatch like kaiju in this. Right. Yeah, I mean that. If not Kong, why not like yeah, a huge Sasquatch or uh abominable snowman, but you know, as big as Kong or maybe bigger than Kong. Hmm. Let's cowboy up, baby. Thank you so much, Oracle Clock Tower. Hit that like for my favorite guy, she says. Hey. Oh, we thank you. The world needs a little more. The world needs more cowboys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Money, please. Is <laughs> <laughs> that the truth? Right. Money, 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 money. Money. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh no. Ooh, that's beautiful. The mountain looked like Godzilla's back. Mm. Here are the highlight of the show. I like him. Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe it was that Behemoth Kami and Kanju, Kanju, in King of the Monsters? Uh, it could be. <laughs> 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 so smart. You better not do it to me. Oh, he saw some. Some Millennium Falcon maneuvering. <laughs> yeah, what did he see there? Uh, something shiny, and I, I want to say Godzilla, but I don't know. There's something shiny around coming from underneath. Mm -hmm. it. I don't know, right? Oh, the plane. Does it look like a crash, though? It looks like it was more ripped apart, you know? That looks like an attack. Look at that cut right yeah. there. Not your dad. Yeah. Bless you, Russell. Oh my gosh. What a shot. A house. Mm. Oh my God. Don't go to, don't, don't do it to me, please. 
We're going to see his inside. Okay, good. He's alive. He has to be. And he sharpens his own pencil. Pencil, very yeah. nice. Oh my god! Detail. Mmm. Iris had that look in her eye, like, "Oh." I... But he had a phone too, so clearly he didn't reach out to home or any place. Maybe she warned them that uh, they were coming so he could not be there. Mmm. Mm. Uh, no. Oh, no. Uh Oh, it landed safely. Oh, so so the oh, cut had to be it. after. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. The slash. Let's see it. Oh, nope. His buddy's gone. You're gone, our buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, homie. No, don't. Get out of the plane. You got to abandon it now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, my gosh. He's freezing it. What? There's that cliffhanger. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> Why you got to do me like you do me like you do? Why you got to do me like yeah, you do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my and, and God. You got a thumbnail for episode four, right? It's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> what? Damn, man. Why? I, I, Damn. Hmm. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> he didn't even eat him, just like sub zeroed his. Right? Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Mm. That was a that was a good episode. That Damn, was dude. a great episode. <laughs> Dang, maybe they should. I don't know. It's like maybe they should just be quiet. I don't know. That, that thing. I don't know. It's hard to. Oof. Dang. The interesting thing is, I think, is. The brother, I don't think he's he saw he saw something else. 
Because where he was looking, where the plane landed, he wasn't looking at the tent or the plane crash. He was looking at something else. So either he saw that creature. No, or... no, he was seeing something else. This came from the ground. The other thing seemed very distant. It had to be bigger. Yeah. I mean, uh, I can go back to it and pause it. I'm curious now. You're, you're going to look the same? Yeah, yeah. I want to know. Man, okay, so the next episode, episode four, which is, oh, of course, it's coming out December 1st. So, Corey, the day of Godzilla minus one. <laughs> it's coming out December 1st? December 1st, which technically will mean it comes out November 30th because, remember, they release it at midnight. Yeah. So, for us, a couple hours back. Um, so, episode four, parallels and interiors. The team is left stranded in the frozen tundra after a narrow escape, Kentaro flex on his relationships is the summary for the next episode. Episode three, secrets and lies, though. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, man, they're doing a good job of the show. A, a few continuity errors I've noticed. Like what? Uh, just of how Operation Lucky Dragon goes down in... Um, in the footage in Godzilla 2014, Godzilla never fully gets out of the water. Like he he emerges from the water, and before he's on his hind legs, they explode it already. So here they were showing that he actually got up, was standing and staring at the atomic bomb for a while. So a, a few continuity things, but nonetheless, it's cool. It's really cool. <laughs> you know, I'm digging. Ah. D digging what they're doing yeah exciting. i'm liking it this is cool exciting stuff man this is a good show i agree broger this is a this is a great show good is not good enough for this this is a great fantastic awesome however you want to describe it it's it's a fun show man i think they're they're just doing a great job of character building keeping some mystery that's like dr being the driving force the motivation and Corey, you and i talked about this last week i think or during our discussion for the first time i'm like antsy you know like anxious to get to the next mm -hmm. episode i haven't felt this way since walking dead yeah. where it was like uh, holy hell nice. you can't leave me there like that like i need to know what happens and I mean, Ahsoka did that a little bit, but I kind of, Ahsoka didn't leave me on too many, yeah. you know. This has been cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger. This is yeah. driving yeah. me mad and excited at so many, so many emotions, man. It's, I, I can't wait till next week now. I can't, I can't wait till we talk about it later this week. And then I can't wait until we, uh, may, may, but may, maybe that's what's selling me down some. Knowing that on Friday, we're going to be able to talk about it. So we have a few days to process it, watch it again, come back for the discussion. Yeah. And then if only a few days. So maybe the way we're breaking it up is making it a little bit easier for everybody. I know it's making it better for myself. You know, it's, you know, yeah. Keep, keep getting, you know, brush. talking about it, you know? Yeah. And mm. I, I think it's so far, we're seeing that it's pretty successful on Apple TV. It's been in the top one. Uh, spot for the last mm -hmm. almost week oh, now cool. and hopefully like i said i think if you're talking about it engaging with the show good things are going to happen hopefully they do a season two Wh whatever they want to do if they want to do a kong spinoff in hollow earth with that monarch team mm -hmm. i or if they want to do a mothra spinoff like whatever i'm down for this monarch show Th this is brilliant so far um mm. what's your initial reaction koji no, I'm loving it. I'm with you right there. Uh, I can't wait for the next one. It is like a to-be-continued thing. So, yeah. Oh, I'm on the big screen. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's the picture I took of it. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely oh. not that tent. Maybe it's a, a camp. Like, he has a cave, the fire going. Uh, Hiroshi. There's some glow there, right? I can't. Yeah. Yeah. E. So I'm like, hmm. see, yeah. I'm just still thinking about the episode. So it seems like episode 
th- four. The next one is going to kick off right where they left off that creature in front of them. That's a lot of escalation because I did get to see Godzilla and it did get even more intense. We got two <laughs> monsters this time and yeah. left off with the monster actually facing them. Last episode, they got away from it, saw from a safe distance. Mm. This one is like, okay, I see you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't freaking wait. How, you know, how many I, episodes uh, are in this series? 10. There's going to be 10. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I really like uh, Kaiju Crazy. Craig Rowland, uh is coming here. He says, love the show. Best human story in the MonsterVerse. You, you mm. know, I, 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 I agree with it. This is the first time I've really cared about the characters. You know, I know there hasn't been very many Kaiju movies, shows I've seen, but this is like the first time I'm like, I'm yeah. invested in the old and the 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 young, you know. So it's like yeah. each storyline I'm I'm addicted to. We're, we're we're basically getting two sh- kind of two shows in one, you know. Yeah. With the old flashbacks, the new going on, and then you got Godzilla causing mayhem all over the place. Yeah, and and also kind of a an extension, you know, kind of the things that you were curious about. You're kind of seeing a, a few seconds after you know or the reactions to some of the things we saw like the san francisco bridge g-day uh the 1954 operation lucky dragon incident you know um there's just so much they're giving us in terms of just really expanding this monster verse universe and I, i'm down i'm i'm all here for it Trey, I just, uh oh, i'm sorry go for it no go ahead bud no, I uh, just saw Law's comment. We should uh, talk about, uh, you know, bringing Law on for uh, one as well sometime. Yeah, if Law ever wanted uh, to hop on one of these watch parties with us, you're you're absolutely welcome to, Law. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. What, Corey, what's the, what's the general reaction of uh, the chat? How are we feeling throughout? It was kind of paying attention, seeing mm-hmm. what people were saying throughout, and it seems like... <coughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't see the we're, chat at all. Sure. I, I was watching the chat side by side, and people were reacting, you know, the same as us. Excited, chills, um, you know, reacting, laughing to, you know, the kind of funny moments. English mother... Do you speak it? Um... You know, they were a lot of surprises, uh, woes, holy hells uh, out there. So, it, like, it was uh, it was a lively chat uh, all the way through. So, um, just just oh, like we were throughout the show. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad to hear. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and replay crew. If you're if you're still watching at this point, thank you for tuning in after the fact. Like I said, if, if you're watching it, you can comment all the way throughout the show and we'll we'll respond back to you. I would love mm-hmm. to hear your guys' reaction as you comment through things. Uh, I, I just, it's so much fun to kind of share these moments with you guys and to kind of, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw my face and all of our faces during the uh, Operation Lucky Dragon Lots scene. Lots of comments <laughs> about that, about our faces. What I think yeah. they've done such a wonderful job yeah. with the MonsterVerse especially is Godzilla. You know, every time Godzilla is mentioned, he's shown up. They they do such a great job. And kudos to the sound engineering team, the way they use the rumbles, the Godzilla roar to tease you, to kind of make you get this, like, it's almost like the Jaws theme. But instead of using a music theme, they're using Godzilla's mm-hmm. iconic roars to kind of let you know his presence is out there you know a certain tone that we've kind of related since the 2014 godzilla with this particular vision of the character and like every time you hear it you feel it's like it's awesome that they kind of understand godzilla has this natural nostalgic power over its audience its fans especially that like when you hear the simplest tone that you know it's Godzilla, it's the language of Godzilla, right? You instantly, you can feel the chills, the goosebumps mm. running up your spine, you know? And it's just, I love that. I love that when you know he's approaching and he's coming near, you're like, I can't freaking wait, mm. you know? It's it's not throwing Godzilla in every scene, but it's just enough to make you be like, I got my Godzilla dose, mm. you know? It's kind of like a terrifying, you know, that whale echo sound effect on the yeah. bottom, it's slower and terrifying mm. and coming towards you. 
Yeah, man, that's a great way to put it. I love that. Yeah, and brilliant, just brilliant. I can't, I can't wait to discuss this with you guys. Our, our stream is already set up for Friday. Make sure you set your reminders. Share it with your friends. Make sure to comment uh, your favorite scene of episode three in the chat uh, and replay crew as well. Let us know and, and then share it on Twitch using hashtag Monarch Legacy Monsters. We really want this show to blow up because this. This is pretty good quality compared to some Marvel spinoffs, some Star Wars spinoffs, you know, this, which congratulations, by the way, Dave Filoni. I'm so happy to hear you got the, the job we all wanted you to have, buddy. But uh, when it comes to this show, I just feel like they, they took some time with this one. They, they built out a quality story and we're only three episodes in, you know, not even halfway there. But so far, I'm really enjoying but, it. But bro. Bro, even like like I, to to kind of defend, you know, how the amazingness of the show. Remember, of all the different Star Wars shows we we we've recently watched, uh, doesn't matter which one. Pick a name out of the hat. You know, there was constantly like, okay, two slow episodes. Third episode was going to be rock and roll. Two slow episodes. Third episode was rock and roll. Uh, Koji mm, yeah. pointed that out. Uh, I what, what was it? Uh, Andor. Uh, Andor. Yeah. So, like, this show has been in your face, exciting, multiple things going on, lots of stuff to pay attention to. Mm. Um, great storytelling, great uh, cinematography, great sets like KoJ mentioned. You know, the music's been fantastic. Uh, the You know, just the minute details that they put into it. You know, the, they, they figured out and storyboarded this, uh, this show absolutely perfectly so far. And... I'm I'm here for it. The, like I, I every episode, uh, you know, dose that I get, I you know, feed me yeah. more. Like I I I'm becoming a kaiju loving fan here, man. This is Ooh. this has been fantastic, bro. Like I said, man, when you hear Corey say that, that, that like weirds me out. I never <laughs> thought I would hear Corey say these things. Having fired up. Here. You know? fired up. Man used to laugh at me, make fun of me for watching Godzilla. Oh, stuff. I did. Absolutely, and, and now I got you. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I hate Godzilla. No, I'm just <laughs> nope, no, nah, just kidding. I, no, it's oh, funny man. though, right? Like I, I am shocking myself saying this, bro. I love that. Yeah, no, this, this is beautiful music to my ears. This is great shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, as as we start to to finish up, guys, if you have any questions, put in uh, put in the comments now. But uh, OJ, what what you got going on, my man? As we start to wrap it up. Oh, I'm loving this show. This show is like a sequel and a prequel to Godzilla 2014. Mm. Yeah. Sequel and a prequel. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my own thing on my channel, seeing what I think, uh, doing more Snack of Fighters, video game content. That's pretty yeah. much it. So busy with my movie, but that's why things are slow. I don't really have a schedule, but I have more game stuff coming up and I'm always voicing my opinion on how I feel about things. Palestina Libre. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, Coach Jay, it's always a it's always a blast to see you here, buddy. Thank you so much for joining us on this. Anytime we can have my brother Coach Jay on our show, you know, even if it's just watching and enjoying the things we love, like Godzilla, because you and I had talked about this for so long about doing some Godzilla streams together, and and it just now that we finally have some content to yeah. enjoy together, it's like, yes. Have you watched uh, Godzilla Returns when I got you? This uh, you know, I haven't done mm -hmm. it. It's it, it crazy to think that I haven't like <laughs> watched it because I've been searching for that film forever, but you just know how schedules are. In it. Yeah, it's all good. It's not taken, uh, but yeah. I'm definitely, I, I have it like ready to go. I even like uh, downloaded it so I could watch it. No, so, no, it's good you I'm haven't seen trip. it. You might need it for when this show's over and you also some it's a fair point one. you want more you it's know? a fair so point man. there's a there's a timing for everything uh but i do want you guys uh we should do on my channel a watch party with my uh the super sentai oh, i yes. really want to do that with you guys yes my channel, host i got Absolutely. it all figured out we got three different ways you can do it or even the audience can watch it too oh, oh. Discord. you just go to my discord maybe we could all work out there i didn't even awesome. realize you had a discord yes Done. Yeah, I just don't use it, but yeah, I know we've been working on ours and uh, we're almost, we're almost finished with it, but yeah, dude, totally with 
whenever just let us know obviously let's do it after this one after we're done doing this watch party this planning for some time after this maybe okay absolutely we'll get in for it because that'd be fun that would be a lot of fun because i i think you guys are gonna like it and i would like to see it again too so and then (laughs) have kaiju I like it. Kung Fu, sci-fi, kaiju, you know. Well, thank you so much for subscribing to our boy, Koji. Guys, anyone else in the chat, if you haven't already, you won't be disappointed. I love my man's gaming channel, Snyder Cut Fires. It's always (laughs) a damn good time at Snyder Cut Fires. I have a little too much fun on that one. Uh, We like trash talking our opponents. Trash talk. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. tweet them, you know, and be like, "Man, you're going down." I, it's not even a real belt, but to me, it's real. <laughs> you know, it's good times. It's good times. Absolutely, Corey. Uh, any last minute thoughts before we wrap it up? Can't wait till Friday. Can't wait till the next uh, episode. Let's go, buddy. Well, I'm, I'm excited, my friend. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving with family. If if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just have a wonderful wonderful time you know enjoy the holidays are coming up take care of each other make sure you reach out to the people that you love your friends even the people you think are strong and they're doing okay the holidays are always a tough time even when people don't leave it on so reach out let them know that you're there for them say hi check them out tell them to watch monarch legacy of monsters (laughs) you know because that will make them happy should we remind them to subscribe trey oh and and sure i mean if you want to subscribe to apple tv Mm. (laughs) oh you meant uh, us yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Check this out. Hey. You guys already I know. Kind of says to like, share, and subscribe to the Bad Channel and hit that notification bell so you never <laughs> miss an episode. I'm your host, Ray, with the Super Bro Corey and my boy, Lord Kojay. And we are the Bat Channel. Don't forget to tune in weekly. Same Bat Time. Same Bat Channel. And guys, before we head out, I just want to say uh, we, we do have a sponsor. In case if you haven't seen our discussion video, we do have a sponsor tonight. Uh, you know, they would like us to put out this uh, PSA announcement from the TPT. So here you go. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. Corey, roll the tape. Roger <laughs> that. And now a special message brought to you by the Titan Preparedness Plan. With the recent spike in Titan sightings circulating on social media, proactive preparation for a Titan emergence event is crucial. A single towering force of nature has the potential to forever alter the lives of millions. It is our mission to help you prepare for that force. The Titan Preparedness Plan is your guide to staying safe in the face of monsters. These are the three steps you need to know. One, know before you go. Identify the location of your nearest Titan shelter and practice navigating a Titan evacuation route with your family on a weekly basis. Two, run and take cover. In the case of a Titan emergence, calmly sprint to the nearest Titan shelter. If your designated shelter is inaccessible or at capacity, seek the basement or lowest floor of a nearby building. Three, stay informed. Follow any further instruction from local authorities and stay informed using your mobile device, television, or radio. We can't stop a Titan emergence, but we can safeguard our lives. Join us in building a safer, more resilient community. We are here to protect you.